Hey, Orange One here. So we are at back actually near Kuya's. Now you probably are wondering because we were like way up there recently and Shraz, well, that wasn't ours either. Uh, that literally just got captured. Um, I decided to come back and I actually have kind of like I just played the game and then I saved whenever anything noteworthy happened so I could show it to you guys, including some quests I did. And I just kind of wanted to compress it because... Um, well, there's this interesting dynamic that you can, if you go, if you press L and you go to clan, uh, you can make other parties. So, uh, yeah, we did that. <laughs> We've got uh, Lossus, the silent. He's got a group of people that's actually mostly my people that I've given to him. And I'll show you a little bit more about how to do this. Um, but basically, you just create um, this and then give him units. So he's he's got his own little party, and he actually is wandering around, just kind of like any lord does in this game, just wandering around, um, killing looters if he sees them. And yeah, we are going to kind of do our own thing while he's doing that. Now, I, uh, I was trying to recruit units, I mean, honestly, just trying to fill up on things. I saw that this dude, he's got a, he's got a quest, so um, let's see what he wants us to do, yeah? Yeah, it's so weird how the music just completely dies out and then the game's just like silent like this. Yeah, you got a problem. I haven't actually heard of this quest before. Oh. <laughs> oh, the poor father. Um, I'm gonna go myself. And I believe we actually may even have a another companion doing like something else or something like that. But yeah, this uh this quest i've actually already played through this uh so uh basically if you can't find their tracks when you exit the settlement you should visit nearby villages so we just basically need to walk up to like a nearby village this is the closest village so uh we'll just walk over there and see what we find there oh look yeah um yep Galloped and got towards Tesheba. Where's Tesheba? Okay, Tesheba's up there. I don't think that that was where they were last time, but last time they were here at Fanab. Um, this is super cool. I'm I'm really excited to show this to you, and hopefully I don't bu uh, butcher this because um, last time it worked out uh, pretty good for us. Uh, there's a number of people way down there. That's kind of weird. Oh, let me just kind of check this. The description of Kanizat. Okay, they're actually down there. I can see that they're down there. Um, but what's kind of cool, I kind of don't like that alt shows you that. But I believe we can go up to one of these guys and be like, Hey, can you show me where they are? And then they'll just run and you can follow them. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we're, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's just say that we're not doing that. Um, and hopefully our companion actually stays with us because we might have to do some combat here. I, I doubt it. Because uh, you can actually kind of talk your way out with these guys. It's kind of cool. I think you'll like it, but we might have to uh, shoot someone. <laughs> so here's the girl, and here's the rogue or whatever that she's run off with. Crush finger. Ran away with him willingly. Yeah, how do I know that he's not forcing you? Okay, so here's an interesting thing, is that we've got some opportunities to be successful at some... Uh, this is how charming works, basically. So we've got these things that are contributing to different options, and then there's critical failure and critical success chances. So if I go to this, I've got an 84 chance percent chance of that working, and it looks like it did. Nice, okay. Um... Okay, what if we do this one then? Can I select like one of them? If I do like leadership, 
Oh no, that was ineffective. Okay. Um, I don't think that we're going to be able to get them then. That's a shame, because this is pretty much a flip of the coin. Oh, we actually got it. Nice. Wow. Okay. Okay, so she just straight up was like, okay, I'll return to my family. Cool. Yeah, and then you'll get going. So I think if I leave the village... Oh, the beggar literally just got there. That's funny. Yeah, so if I leave it, I, I think, actually, I got that message because we just got... No, we didn't get to the next clan level just yet. Um, I will in this episode, don't worry. Uh, I want to jump ahead at this point and I'll show you something cool soon. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're back here and we, um, I was trying to come up here and trying to find the Sultan because I want to, uh, become a vassal. Because you have to actually go to the Sultan to become a vassal here. Um, let's see if I say, like, to discuss something. Yeah, I'd like to pledge myself as a vassal. Um, I believe this is pretty much the same as it used to be in the old game, so I'm just going to kind of go through that quickly. Um, I don't have any fiefs, though. It looks like they don't just automatically give you any fiefs. Um, we are, though, going to be changing how things kind of work. So influence no longer is going to turn into money. We'll actually get influence. And what's kind of cool um, is that we can use that influence uh, if we press, I think, K for kingdom. Um, yeah, we can use that to, we can look at like the influence that different people have and we can see who's controlling what and what policies are, are active. There's some really great policies in here. Um, one of them that I'm definitely going to get as soon as we can is Senate because that just gives us more influence. Um, and we'll get to tier three very soon. Uh, we could create an army. And what's kind of cool about that is because these guys are our unit, it takes zero influence to get them to follow me. Um, and so we can create an army and have that dude just follow us around forever, essentially. And then also you can kind of see how we're comparing to other empires. So there's a... Yeah, oh wow, they're, they've been crushed, Britannia and Western Empire. They've got like nothing. Um... Oh, wow, the Kuzate. Okay, so the Kuzate basically is who's winning the game right now. So if we look here, where are they? They don't look like they're winning the game. They don't have that much land, at least. Well, anyways, we're in the kingdom. Things are good. I'm going to go ahead and do our next jump, and I'll see you soon. Alright, so uh, we got a little bit of an interesting situation here. We got... Um, we're at peace with the uh, Batania, so we got kind of a problem here. Um, it's not the worst problem. Basically, uh, as soon as I got up to um, getting my army all nice and powerful, uh, yeah, the war ended. Like I was getting, I like had just about amassed uh, the party to being pretty much full. I was getting ready to go up there and attack. And then there's no more war so we're going to continue to kind of support the local villages here in the sari area and try and do some quests for them slash killing looters that's basically what i've been doing in between um these little jumps is just kind of like going around killing looters um seeing what experience we can get for people you know you know how it is and uh you know the way i see it is that Rodan, he he doesn't want to be doing this, but he feels a call. His nation needs him. You know, in this war um, that we've had against these guys, we held them back, but really we shouldn't have been able to hold them back, so we gotta get aggressive if we want to defend the Sari nation. Um, so let's see... Oh, actually, this does have uh, cohesion problems. Huh, interesting. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll make the next jump to Af probably some combat or something. So, oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. Um, 
we like just killing all those looters like we got to clan tier three so we can get another companion and we can get a even bigger army so by the time that you guys come back we're gonna have so many troops it's gonna be just absolutely bonkers like and look our king he's got nearly a thousand troops like combine him with our army oh Oh man, it's gonna be so glorious. I'm excited. Um, well, in any case, we are still at peace. So we're gonna just kind of let things kind of pan out, try and get our army a little bit better set up. Like, you know, continue recruiting and whatnot. And we'll see who uh, who unfortunately goes to war with us because our, our forces are looking pretty healthy right now. I'm pretty excited about that. Anyways, we'll see who uh, makes the bad call. So I forgot to actually save when this actually got voted in, um, but you can see right here that we've voted in a few things. The tier 3 gets some influence, tier 4 is also going to get uh, in more influence if we got big parties. So hopefully we're going to get some big, um, big armies and more influence, and I think we're going to get to uh, tier 4 um, not too far from now, so that will actually be pretty good for us once we get there. Um, we are actually now finally at war with someone, so we're at war with the Imperials. Uh, I don't know exactly who attacked who, but we've got our army um, collecting. This dude, that little foot thing, that means that they're on their way to us. And then this dude, he actually already is following us, so you can kind of see his number included there. Um, but you can see like my party right there. Um, I've only got 68, but we've got like 117. Um, I am a little bit worried that we're kind of going into this war uh, with a lot of recruits. So we're going to have to try and attack looters as much as possible. Um, if we do that, we should be okay. Uh, but I do also suspect we're going to have a lot of heavy casualties in the war, at least early on given the lack of experience of our troops. But, um, oh, I forgot to also show you guys uh, this guy, Komar. He is a beast, man. Let me show you this dude. Uh, I just picked him up, he, like, um, I think actually right before this point in time. The dude has like 150 stats in like all that. Look at that. He's got good tactics. The stewardship's gonna probably go up because he's running a party. But this dude is, um, he's probably gonna do some raiding for us. He's extremely, extremely, extremely strong warrior. Let's just say that. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see what he's like in battle. You know, probably gonna be pretty brutal, but we'll see. Um, I'll probably jump up at this point until we actually get into a battle. Uh, and yeah, I, we'll see see what we got to deal with. Okay, so I've found it. This is gonna be a little bit different than the the video that I posted um, on um, online like a week ago or so. I don't know when that video is gonna get posted compared to this, but basically, um, I did that combat just to record and do it. Um, right on the spot as soon as I could and now I'm going back and I'm redoing it um and Sergeant's yeah I'm, I'm excited it should go our way seeing how we've got like 200 more people than them uh and yeah I mean god look at this this performs so well considering that I also have a recording software going at the same time the fact that we're getting 40 frames I mean it got down to like 30 there is incredible like these guys they're animating you can kind of see the frames here and there dropping a little bit but it's not too bad actually are we gotta be fighting in the river oh god okay sure let's go uh let's go fight them on the river guys i'm honestly just gonna kind of watch I'm not going to even get involved all that much. I'm just going to go to this local high point and see what we can see from it. Yeah, that, uh, oh, that's our guys. 
Wow, look at them. They're just like all crawling and falling back up, trying to get the high point up there. Okay, well, we're doing well against them. We're doing actually super well against them. Oh my god. Or not anymore. They're kind of pushing back in that hill. If they can keep the height advantage on that hill, they could uh, they could cause me a lot of pain. Yeah, that dude's going down. Oh, yeah, we're, we're starting to lose some frames. Oh man, even even a, a 1080 super can't handle this. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I've turned off also the indicator if you uh, for the different factions. Luckily for us, at the point in the game that we're at, the color coding should prove pretty helpful. Um, you can see like all of our dudes are like yellow versus them being purple. And that's the whole point of having the whole color coding anyways, right? But then it gets really confusing with the cavalry up here, because there's like a ton of them apparently up there. And it's actually kind of hard to identify who's on what team Especially seeing how I've got some of their units. I've got like some Imperial units basically. Um, that could be a problem for us. It looks like to me like they've kind of got this high point on the hill again. Yeah, we're, we're taking some heavy losses. More than I would like. Oh, that dude actually got me. I think we are winning. Okay, we did get a hit as well there. Um, yeah, that dude needs to go down if I can. God, that is such a crazy melee up there. Like, seriously, if there's like a... An image that just screams melee, it was that right there. Okay, can I get some of these dudes retreating? I would like to do that if I can. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, we gotta be quick here. Jack, be nimble. Yeah, that's not happening, buddy. You guys are not getting away if I can help it. Oh! There we go. Oh my god, I can't even do enough damage. And I just missed out right there. There we go. Um, well, some of them got away. But I'm pretty sure that that's a good end to an episode, right? Well, what's with the shadow there? Okay, that was just kind of gra uh, graphics uh, bugging out there. Um... They, yeah, they they took a lot more losses than us, almost like 300 more losses, or not, almost 100 more losses, and we also got a ton of prisoners, probably, from that. Yeah, Olapos, yeah, you're my prisoner now. Any of them that I can, I'm gonna take prisoner. Ooh, 49 prisoners. That is probably more than I can handle. Yeah, I can only take 20 of you. Um... The question is though, is am I close enough to dump them out of the city or are they all going to jailbreak on me? They're all going to jailbreak on me, I can just feel it. Get rid of the tier 1 units. <laughs> Sturgeon, peasant, and looters, yeah. Oh, actually, you know, the looters, uh, it looked to me like I could have them join my party. Cool. I will do that. Um, we still got to get rid of a lot of units, unfortunately, to make this work. Yeah, we don't want to let the the Lord go, is basically our problem here. Uh, we'll take back two of, uh, this guy and this guy. Okay. That looks good to me off the prisoners. Oh, we only got two horses there? Really? Okay, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna bring our prisoners back here. And honestly, I'm not sure what to do from there. 
Um, I'm actually not sure how long this episode is now because of all the editing that we're going to have to do. I think I'm just going to drop this prisoner off. Maybe end the episode here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we'll see. Let's go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Please don't lose this place. And look at that. Look at that influence game. That's nothing to laugh at right there. That's crazy. God, that is a good end. Definitely a good end there. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, I didn't even look at the gear that I got from that battle. Probably should do that. And eh, nothing else is particularly great. You can take it all. Oh, bodkin arrows. I'll take that, though. And I'll hold on to those ranged arrows as well. And fine long spear. That... Eh. Actually used weapons like that, I would maybe give that to a companion. In any case, I think this is a pretty good point to end this. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.